Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill at Scrap Me Quick Designs and today I'm going to show you how do you use the Slice tool in Cricut Design Space to actually split an image. It's a lot of fun to create different projects with this method, so let's get started. Now, I've logged into my Design Space account and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to split an image shape. So I'm going to insert Click Images here and I'm going to use the Cricut Craft Room Basics free image set to show you this. That way if you want to follow along with me you can use the exact same image that I'm using. Since the holidays are coming up I'm going to use this Christmas tree shape and I'm going to insert that image, add it to my mat here and then I want to make this bigger so you can see it easily and I prefer to look at a green tree so I'm going to change mine to green. Now the next thing you need to do, now this could be any shape, any basic shape that you want to cut, alright, or any alphabet or whatever, this background image could be whatever you pick, alright. The next thing you need to have though is you need two rectangles. So I'm going back into Cricut Craft Room Basics and I'm going to select one of the note card shapes that is a rectangle and I'm going to use one of these and I'm just going to stretch it till I get kind of a narrow rectangle alright but I said I needed two right so how do I get two I, instead of going through the same process again all I need to do is highlight that image shape go down to duplicate in the layers panel and hit duplicate and now it made me two yay I have two now this first rectangle that I have, I want to drag that over to my image and this is, and I'm going to place it where I want to slice my image in half. Okay. Now since the bottom of my image is a little bit wider than my top, obviously since I'm using the Christmas tree, I just wanted to make sure that this was wider than my tree and kind of lined it up about where I wanted it to be. Now I need an image, I need the first rectangle to be wider than this. So I'm going to highlight it and in the middle here I can grab that bar and I can make this rectangle wider. And that looks about where I need it to be. So next step is to highlight that larger rectangle you added to the top of your base shape and then I'm going to right click my background shape using the control key and now in the layers panel you have slice, weld, flatten, attach, and contour available for you to use. I want to use weld. This first one we're welding. Alright, in Cricut Design Space when you weld a shape to another shape it changes that color of the weld to whatever your background shape was. So you see now I have my green Christmas tree and my welded rectangle on top of it. The next step is to take that second rectangle piece that we picked and I need to lay it over but it's going to slide underneath this one so I'm going to highlight that second rectangle and then I need to go to a range and I want to move it forward so it lays on top of my image and this one I want to make sure that I have it centered between the top and the bottom of that welded rectangle piece so that when I slice this it will give me two clean images alright so I have this rectangle piece highlighted I'm going to hit control and right click the entire image and now I'm going to the layers panel and I'm going to click slice okay it is sliced away the center piece here for me and those two little little pieces here. We don't need those so I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay, now you see that we have an image that's cut in half. But what if I wanted to put a word here in the middle of this? What you need to do the next step is I need to make, I need to separate these and the way you do that is you take that extra piece that got sliced out and I'm going to change this to red just so you can see it easier when I do this. Okay, now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to lay it over the bottom half of my rectangle and I want to make sure that this piece is long enough and covers everything. 
so I may make it a little bit wider. And now I'm going to pull this down over the bottom of my welded piece. Okay? Now, once I've done that, I'm going to, this is highlighted, I'm going to do control and right click the back piece again, and now I'm going to hit slice. Okay? Now what's happened is it has sliced away the bottom piece. This piece I'm going to pull off. I don't need that because I now have two separate a top. I have a top piece and now I have a bottom piece. Yay! And I can move this however wide or whatever I want to do with it if I'm going to add words here. Okay? So I can make it what I want. But how do I line these up? So you want to right click on the top portion and in your edit panel you'll see that it where your position is it there's an X and a Y axis. We want to know the X axis and it's 1.36. So now I'm going to right click on my bottom axis and my bottom axis on the X says it's 1.41. So I want to change that to 36. So now I know for sure that these two are lined up. Okay? Now, if you wanted to just send this to your mat now, what would happen is it would not be lined up if you were going to do vinyl work. And what we need to do is you want to do select all, and then you would hit attach. Okay? So when I hit go to hit go, it'll take a second. Now you'll see that if I wanted to cut a large vinyl green tree shape out, it would actually do the top and the bottom part out of the green vinyl that I wanted to make. And when I go to transfer this, it would give me those two shapes already split apart in the, in the amount of space I wanted to uh, have in the middle available. Alright? So, we're going to get out of this. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how do you add the words in here. So you're going to go into Add Text. And I'm going to do the word Happy Holidays. All right. I picked Craft, craft Room Basics because that's what I want. And I know I want my words to be read. Okay. So I prefer to have my words as wide as my little side pieces here. And I can manipulate this a little bit because I'd like it to be just a little bit white of uh, higher in height and I'm a visual person so I like to kind of play around with it till I get it the way I want so now I have my green tree image already attached so it's going to stay this width and now I want to be able to cut my red letters in the right way and the way I need to do that is remember if I send it to design if I send it if I hit go and send it to the mat now to cut it's going to jumble all those letters. So I do need to click right, right click on the words, and then I want to attach my words as well. Okay, so when I attach my words, it's going to keep them all in the right order that I wanted them spaced out just the way I have them on the screen. So now I'm going to hit go. And when I do that, you'll see that now I will have two mats. I will have one for the green, and I will have a red one that will come up that will be my red holiday words that I want to add in there. So there's my green. So I would be able to take this image, and then it would cut the next mat, which would be my red happy holidays. And there again, I would cut this out. If I was doing a vinyl project, I would cut this out and weed away the letters, the rest of it that I don't want, and just leave the red letters, use some transfer tape, and I would be able to go back and put it, after I add my green on, I'd be able to go back and put it in here exactly the where, where I needed it to be, easily, quickly, and simply. So I hope you guys get a lot out of this and know how to split an image, be able to go in and add your own words to it, and then be able to, I gave you a couple of tips about being able to use it if you're doing a vinyl project. Since I know a lot of people are interested in either making signs or doing the glass blocks or whatever. This technique works for any image. So it can be either a shape or it could be an uh, alphabet. I wanted to show you a shape just because that was a little bit different. And 
If you have any other questions, please let me know. You can find me over at Let's Learn Cricket Explore Facebook group or on my blog at uh, Scrap Me Quick Designs. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Bye.